Homestead Homies. It's Oscar with Doug and Stacey, and today we're going to have a kitchen gadget day. And I want you guys to stay tuned. If you're a guy and you're thinking, I don't want any kitchen stuff, watch this because you will appreciate it because I know what we're going to make with this little gadget you will really love. So when we moved out here, Doug and I would always go and, you know, go visit with the Amish. And I used to like, you know, watch what they do. And every evening they would always be making popcorn on their kerosene stoves. The girls would be out there and they would make these huge gigantic bowls for the family to enjoy. And we did a video a while back about popcorn. We'll link that one above, so check that out because it was a really good video. And after that video, a great homestead homie sent us something and it was a much more efficient way to make popcorn. It's actually the exact way that the Amish make their popcorn and it is with a whirly pop. So I always had used, you know, the kind of pan on the stove and I would shake it and I would always have it burn once in a while if I wasn't watching it. And you have to have the temperature right. And when I got this Whirly Pop, I, I started using it and it was amazing because you just turn it up because when you make your popcorn, you have to have a very high heat. So that's why the Amish, because it's hard to do on your wood burning cook stove unless it's cranking. Um, you have to make sure that it's on pretty high heat. And then when you put it on there with your oil and your popcorn and you just turn it a little bit, I mean, you'll have popcorn so quick. It's amazing. You know, you talk about the microwave popcorn. Don't microwave your popcorn. We did a video on microwaves, so check that one out too. Because you want to keep as much health benefits as you can. And popcorn actually is a very healthful snack if you use it with good and make it with good oils. It is a very, very good and healthful snack. So what I wanted to do is just bring you along because Doug and I are going to make some popcorn. A lot of people are still, you know, using a lot of these vegetable oils like your olive oils or, you know, uh, canola oil and, and different types of vegetable oils. Well, when they get heated, they denature and then in your body, it kind of does bad things to your body and to your cells and to your DNA, basically. So when you are cooking, at high heat, you want to use saturated type fats that are hard when they cool, such as coconut oil that I have here, and then I also have ghee. So when I do my popcorn, these are my two choices. The coconut oil gives your popcorn an amazing flavor. So if you've never done it, the coconut oil is just amazing. Um, and then today, I think I'm going to try the ghee. I make the ghee all the time. I'll link the recipe for that above. We did it in the sun oven, but you can do it in an oven. And it is so simple because if you go and buy ghee at the grocery store, it's very, very expensive. And it's very cheap to make yourself. Very easy. Just takes a little bit of your time and it's simple. So try that out. So I'm going to do is put a nice, um, you know, tablespoon or so of my ghee in there. And then I'm going to use some white popcorn that we have left from actually this might be from a couple years ago um we also one of my favorite popcorns is the strawberry popcorns and some of the purple popcorns because i'm really into the anthocyanins and the health benefits so check that video out too we did a video about that the colors of your food but different varieties of popcorns they all have different flavors some of them have more a heavy flavor, deeper. I mean, try different popcorns. If you always do the yellow popcorns, there's so many different popcorns out there. There's black popcorns, there's like the blues, there's like the mixed ones, there's white, the yellow. There's so many different varieties. So when you are growing it, if you are gonna grow it, try some different varieties. And then if you are buying in the store, just maybe go ahead and try some different varieties because they do, the tastes are a little bit different. And also the kernel sizes are different. You'll have bigger ones, smaller ones. So this is just uh, some white popcorn I'm gonna put in there. And I'll put it in there and I'm going to take it out and we're going to put, I'm going to cook it out on the propane grill today because it's hot and it will be done in a matter of five minutes. I'm in the blustery outside, outside kitchen and we'll have a lot more videos out here when it starts getting nicer. But um, I just went ahead and put it on here and um, all I do is you just kind of stir it a little bit as it goes on. It's so, so, so easy. And the one thing, I put about a cup of popcorn in here. See how that goes? Isn't that cool? It hasn't even melted yet since I just turned it on, but... Well, the cool thing about this is I put that cup of popcorn in there with the ghee this time, and I'm just gonna stir it. And the wonderful thing about popcorn is it is a great source of fiber. 
So it helps with your digestion, helps you go to the bathroom, and it has a lot of vitamins and minerals, which you don't think, you know, because it's so airy and it tastes so good. But, you know, you even get magnesium. And Doug was saying, it was so funny, he says, sometimes, you know, we'll have popcorn and then we watch a movie and then you kind of feel tired because magnesium does help relax you. So there's magnesium in it too. As um, well as, you know, quite a few other vitamins like your B complexes and things like that. I like to bring you guys these little gadgets that are great on the homesteads because you know when we first moved here I always did it in the pan and sometimes I'd struggle get a little burnt bottom um, and then when the whirly pop came and I saw this and how easy it is because I mean literally it takes five minutes it heats up and you have popcorn so quick and it's so easy to do simple you just unlatch it like that and then it just it pulls right up like so see how easy it just comes out just like this. This is, and it's simple for you guys that like don't like to do dishes because I do a lot of them. It's really easy to clean. You can just wipe it down, and it means it's very simple, very easy to clean. So look in here. There's no burnt anything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you you do all the kernels too. I mean, it's amazing. This thing is great. And then I put a little unrefined salt on it, and we're gonna go sit down and read some poems. Yeah, popcorn and poems. Okay, I guess I'll read the first one from Timothy Coy. Where's he from? He's 11 years old. Look, look and he is from Ohio. The Homestead. I like the sun and the breeze. Come and meet my honeybees. I'm a homestead homie and I like to eat. Stacy's cookies are really a good treat. Doug grows everything organic. So when they eat, they don't have to panic. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Apples, carrots, and pumpkin pie. Those are the things I love to try. So do I. Living on the homestead is fun. I like to watch the evening sun. Good job, Timothy. Way to go. All right, so this one is from the Smith family in Ava, Missouri. And this one's from Joshua Smith, and he's 12. Colors of the day. Early I awake to the colors of the day, yellow sun, yellow hay, green gardens, big green trees, blue sky, blue flowers with bees, brown soil, billowing brown cows, white sheep, puffy white clouds, ending with the beautiful orange glow flowing through the window. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. These are so good. Everyone's are so good. I love them. These are great. So this one is by Nathan Smith and he's 10 years old. I dream. I dream about a pony I hope to one day get. I'll have to feed and water him, but my mind is already set. <laughs> one day I'll ride him round the field. Round and round we'll go. Fun for me and fun for him. This is the dream I know by Nathan Smith. Good job. Awesome. Yeah. And in case you um, didn't know, the Smiths actually do have a channel here on YouTube that's called Thousands of Roots. And they'll probably leave a comment on this video, so just find their comment and hit their little button and maybe go check them out. Real nice family. And if... <coughs> He's popcorn. choking on his popcorn. <coughs> if you guys are going to the Baker Creek, of course you are, Seed uh, Spring Planting Festival in Mansfield, Missouri, the first Sunday and Monday in May, that's coming up, um, they'll actually be there as well. So you can meet Kip and his whole family, the really nice folks. So thanks again for sending in all your poems. Hopefully you like this little off-grid popcorn gadget. You can use it on-grid. Um, it's not really particularly off-grid. It's just old-fashioned. But you it can really... use it on the off-grid because yeah. you can use it over the fire. I mean, because it just likes that high, high heat. Yeah. I mean, so easy. And it's really upped our popcorn game. And Stacy likes to share anything that's made it a little easier for her. She's going to be sharing these videos with you guys. So give her a big thumbs up. And also make sure you leave a comment and tell her that you appreciate her. You know, these videos uh, when she shows her gadgets and things that are making it a little easier in her kitchen. Those are her idea. Uh, I'm just the cameraman. So if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you're saying it in the comments so we know. And you're hitting the thumbs up and watching the videos. So don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I think we got some more interesting videos coming up. Um, it's been raining here like <laughs> crazy. We always usually try really hard to make sure they're interesting and entertaining. I know everyone's been having the craziest, craziest yeah. weather around. I know it's just been a nutso. 
And we are one of them too. Yes. A lot of rain. Can't do much. And so I think I'm going to, um, I have a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions about our rainwater catchment. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's coming up. And then we have a couple other things that you guys are going to be uh, thinking that's pretty cool. So as always, we appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are uh, had a good weekend and hope you have a good week to come. And we'll see you on the next video. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.